What's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at it again with another New York Giants update video. And we got a really good update for y'all right now. The Giants just made another coaching hire and by the looks of it, another slam dunk coaching hire, at least by players reactions from where this guy is coming from and even fan reactions. And that guy, of course, is Andre Patterson. The former, well now former, assistant head coach slash co-defensive coordinator slash defensive line coach for the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, the guy had he had a lot of hats on. He was wearing a lot of name tags, but he was a good man, bro. He was a good coach, especially when you go through his little coaching history here. He's been coaching for since 1982. That's a long time. I think he's around 60 years old, maybe 61, and he's been coaching at the NFL level since what is this since 1997 uh, and we're gonna go through his you know history a little bit but <laughs> Minnesota Vikings fans are distraught they're absolutely devastated they have suffered emotional damage even it seems because they love this guy you go at the Adam Schefter tweet that announced this and I'll read the tweet to you guys right now and I'll pop it up it says former Vikings assistant head coach and co-defensive coordinator Andre Patterson is being hired as the defensive line coach for the New York Giants per source. Just go into the comments section, guys, and you'll see everything and everything these guys are saying. There's people saying this is a terrible loss for the Vikings. How could the Vikings have let him go? They thought he would have been a, you know, a Viking for life on and on and on. They just can't believe that he's no longer a coach with them. And that's how much they love the job he did over in Minnesota. But also, how much they were just convinced he wouldn't he wouldn't leave right that kind of suggests that if he's gonna leave what seems to be a good situation over there in minnesota or at least a better one uh right now than what the giants are currently in he believes in what we could be building over here right he believes in joe shane he believes in brian dable and i and i said this in most of my recent videos and recent streams as well where i'm like the coaches we're hiring and even, you know, Joe Shane's hiring itself, just all the hirings in general, they've all been really good, top notch, some of the best candidates, if not the best candidates available for the job type of hirings. I think the same thing applies here with this defensive line coach. This guy has direct involvement and probably you could say is the reason that two guys in Everson Griffin and uh, Daniil Hunter, particularly Daniil Hunter developed. And in fact, just a couple minutes after the announcement was made by Adam Schefter, Daniil Hunter took to Twitter and he tweeted out a picture of him and Andre Patterson. Hunter is one of the best pass rushers in the entire league. He's a very quiet dude. Nobody really knows about him too much, but he does his job. And I guess, you know, he kind of keeps his head down and that's about it. But the reason he became one of the best pass rushers in the league, it seems, has a lot to do with Mr. Andre Patterson here. I, I like that. I know Vikings fans are, are completely <laughs> they're they're feeling really sad and down right now. But you don't you don't see you really don't see that. You don't see players coming out and, and tweeting about the loss of a coach that much. Especially not a position coach. You know what I mean? And and let us now, of course, go through Mr. Patterson's coaching history a little bit. <laughs> and this is gonna take a while, so stick with me. You know, starting in Montana in 1982 as a graduate assistant, then went as an assistant coach at Renton High School, then St. Monica Catholic High School, Webster State, where he had his first defensive line coach position, Western Michigan defensive coordinator, Cornell defensive line coach, Washington State defensive line coach, Cal Poly head coach, then made the jump to the NFL level, New England Patriots defensive line coach, Dallas Cowboys defensive line coach, Cleveland Browns defensive line coach, Denver Broncos defensive line coach. He went back to high school for a year as the offensive line coach, then went back to the college level as assistant head coach and defensive line coach, UTEP as defensive coordinator and defensive line coach, FIU as assistant head coach and defensive line coach. In 2014, made the jump back to the NFL level right there. I think Everson Griffin was probably already there with the Vikings, but this is around the time the Neil Hunter got there. Um, and from 2014 to 2019, he was their defensive line coach. 2021, he got promoted to assistant, 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 <laughs> assistant head coach. 
slash co-defensive coordinator slash defensive line coach and now in 2022 he's with the giants this is i'm sorry man his resume is incredible his resume is literally just defensive line coach i mean i, I know obviously there were other positions there but he's got to be a defensive line mastermind he got he has to know everything there is to know about it and it would make sense once again considering his results guys daniel hunter didn't he have like 15 sacks in a season at one point and, and let me let's just pull up daniel hunter's stats right now for those of you that don't know because like i said he's a quiet dude yeah so in 2015 is when he got to the vikings six sacks 2016 breakout year 12 and a half 2017 kind of dropped back a little bit to seven 2018 went back to form 14 and a half 2019 14 and a half again and then in 2021 he only had six which is and all his other numbers are also low so i'm wondering was he injured or something i'm looking at his game breakdown it only seems like he played around seven games in 2021 so i do think he was injured but even in seven games six sacks one one of the best pass rushers in the league man oh the giants got a good one that's all i could say about this hire and you know what let's talk about our defensive line a little bit because this should mean great things for dexter lawrence it should mean great things for leonard williams we're moving on from sean spence as our defensive line coach you know coach chaos i think he went back to the college level we got him from penn state he was regarded as one of the best at the college level one of the best defensive line guys there now we got somebody regarded at the nfl level one of the best defensive line guys there is we i what i expect this to do is i think people expected des lawrence to take a little bit of a step forward last season not that he had a terrible season or not that he took a step backward he just kind of stayed where he was i am included in that group i was like okay maybe this year he'll be pushing the pocket a little bit more we'll see him get to the quarterback a little bit more we know he's a defensive tackle but you know he plays three four defensive end so he's it's not like he's a nose tackle right i, I i'm pretty sure austin johnson was our nose tackle this year which i like because dexter Lawrence does have the ability to push the pocket a little bit just because of his size he shouldn't be relegated to the nose tackle position but so i expect maybe he does take that step forward this year a little bit you know you see him evolve a little bit more now we did see him get held a bunch of times that weren't called but that's neither here nor there leonard williams um i just expect leonard williams to improve in his pass rush ability as well um and then for i guess whoever's going to be in the nose tackle position they better be a monster at stuffing the run but but i've been saying this for the past couple days as well we need to draft a defensive tackle or, or i was posing the question do we need to draft a defensive tackle because you look at the depth chart we're not that deep there other than uh williams lawrence and johnson and johnson who is a free agent this year by the way it's not the defensive line group of just one year ago or you know years past where we had guys we could rotate in and out and you could call it deep and you could say it was legitimately the strongest part of the Giants defense not anymore you know of course the loss of Dalvin Thomason but I've been saying the biggest loss was the trade with BJ Hill because he's balling out and now he's in the Super Bowl with Cincinnati that I don't know why in the world that trade was made and I, I think I actually I, I think I don't know if I liked it or if I was um I said it was a good trade but I remember not hating it when it happened and boy was I wrong because I hate that trade now because BJ Hill is the type of guy we could really use as you know depth on this line <laughs> and we had him as depth we drafted him we couldn't keep him why why couldn't we keep him thank god our new general manager is all about drafting and keeping his guys but because of that lack of depth I do think people should start thinking about maybe the Giants do take a DT in the mid rounds and even if they take one in the late rounds like one of their last picks I'll be happy with that as well because we need it right we need it and looking over in this entire roster we do need a lot of things man we need four other offensive linemen we need a wide receiver uh potentially a cornerback I'm a I'm not sure about that one to be honest with y'all because we our cornerback group is kind of deep I think we could probably survive if we don't take one um still going on you know linebacker is a need edge rusher need it's just it's so much man tight end running back ridiculous but <laughs> not to go off on too much of a tangent great hire uh fans seem to think so players seem to think so even other you know nfl guys seem to think so field yates i think tweeted out that uh the giants are like putting together or brian dables putting together an absolutely ex excellent coaching staff and 
that's all you want to hear about it right so put your thoughts down below let me know what you guys think like share subscribe and i'm out hey guys thanks for watching thank you for checking out my channel the hub here on giants youtube make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you hear every time I put out a video like it share and subscribe and i'm out